Hello, Sarah. Thank you for the other day. I'm becoming a PTA committee member for the first time, so... I hope you can teach me a lot of things about it. Hey, Anna. Sure. Let's do our best for a year. Definitely. I'll do my best. At our kindergarten, the committee members are quite busy. I'm sure it's a lot of work for a first-timer. I'm sorry you got appointed. No, no. I'm rather happy. I've been wanting to talk to Sarah for a long time. What? With me? Because your mom friend's group is so cool, you know. Some of them are wives of landowners who are well known in their hometowns. There's also a wife whose husband's annual income is over a million dollars and lives in a luxury mansion. And there's also Miss Nicole, a real heiress from a super prestigious family. It's like a celebrity mom friends group, isn't it? Everyone dreams to be one of them. So, I am really lucky to be close to you. My husband is an ordinary office worker, so I don't really have the chance to talk to people in that kind of chosen group. Chosen group? That's not that big of a deal. It's just that we live close to each other and our kids are in the same class. But it's still so cool. I'm glad to be a committee member with you. I hope we can be a great team. I'm glad to hear you say that. I hope for that too. I was wondering if you want. Let's have a mom friends gathering at our place so we can know each other. Mom friends gathering? Actually, I'm a hotel owner. My husband is a very average office worker, but I'm a business owner. Have you heard of the Silver Lining Hotel? It's a bit far from here, though. What? Yeah, I know the place. I've been there. It's a nice hotel. I'm not too bad, but yeah. The rooms are clean, the view is nice, and the bath is spacious. I'm proud to say that the service is excellent. So, I'd like to hold a gathering at a hotel. We will prepare a suite room and lunch for you. So, why don't you feel like taking a day trip? We also have a kids' room and other facilities for children in the hotel. So you can bring your children along with you. I'll also give you a discount as you're my friend now. Are you sure? That's very nice of you. Of course, we're friends. Don't be shy. Besides, other moms are used to staying in the suites, right? I'm not sure if they would be satisfied with a $3,000 per night room. A $3,000 room? Are you sure we can stay in such a luxurious place? Yes. If I can get close to those cool moms, I'm okay with this. Well then, I'll take it up on your offer. I'll wait and see what everyone else has to say. That's fine. If everyone is interested in joining, please let me know their contacts. It's faster if we communicate directly with each other. Sure. I'll ask everyone. Thank you very much. Good morning, Anna. I'm at a meeting place you told me about. But everyone else didn't show up when it was time to meet. Did I get the time wrong? Wasn't the meeting time 10? Sarah, good morning. They have all already arrived at the hotel. Huh? Why? Why? Because we decided to meet at the hotel. I'm already showing their rooms now. Meeting at a hotel? But you told us to meet at a station and shuttle bus would pick us up from the hotel. When did this change? I don't think I received any message about it. I did inform you all though, didn't I? Really? Then I must have been mistaken. Well, we're on our way there now. We'll be a little late, but we were supposed to have lunch, so we will make it right. What? You're coming? I haven't prepared a seat for Sarah. What? I didn't invite you in the first place. The only people I invited were the celebrity moms, Nicole and others. I don't have a meal for you. Oh no, what are you gonna eat? Even if you come, there's nothing to serve but fresh air. <laughs> 
coming to a gathering without an invitation is just too awkward, isn't it? What? But you asked me at first to have a gathering with me. Well, I'm very sorry. Only celebrities above a certain level are allowed to come to a hotel. Poor people are not allowed. What? Poor people? That's because you are. Sarah, you're always wearing cheap clothes and bags. And your face obviously can tell you that you're a poor person. You look out of place from the crowd of celebrity moms who wear branded clothes. It looks like you're just taking advantage of the celebrity moms. It's beyond ridiculous. It's pathetic. Also, you said that a suite that costs $3,000 a night is luxury. It's beyond shameful that such a poor person wants to join us. What? When people who don't have a common sense like you come, it lowers the class of the hotel, you know. It would be embarrassing to see you get all excited like an outsider. So, please don't come to our hotel by mistake. If you have money for luxury, why don't you save it? It's hard to be poor, isn't it? Even if you want to stay in a $3,000 room, you must have worked hard for a year to save up the money. Or, is one year not enough? I've never been poor, so I can't imagine what it'd be like. Why do you say such horrible things? What did I ever do to you? Did you lie to me when you said you wanted to be friends with me? You didn't do anything to me. But I can't be friends with a poor person. I just used you to cross with celebrity moms. Now I have the celebrity mom's contacts. I'm done with you. Thank you for helping me. I'll join the celebrity mom's group from now on. Why don't you stay at a cheap hotel if you're poor? Anna, I'm sorry to bother you. Do you have a minute? I'd like to ask you something. Yes, of course. What's wrong, Miss Nicole? Was there something in your room that bothered you? Sorry, I just showed you around and went back to work. No, the room is very clean and spacious and has a nice view. I'm very happy with it. I'm glad to hear that. I did my best to get you a nice room. So, what is it that you want to ask me? Sarah hasn't arrived yet. I wonder what's wrong. I've sent her a message, but I haven't received any reply. Since it was you who organized this, I thought you might know something about it. Um, don't worry about her. She told me she can't make it today. Huh? She won't attend? Why not? She said she suddenly got sick. Actually, she messaged me saying she was sorry and she had to go back home. Oh no, really? Is it true that she's not feeling well? I didn't hear anything about that. I'm worried because everyone else hasn't heard anything either. It doesn't seem to be anything serious, so she's fine. She texted me in the usual tongue, so it's maybe it's just a cold or something. Well, don't worry about that lady. Just enjoy your stay here. But Sarah left without a word to us. It's so weird. Something must have happened. I'm sorry, even though you've kindly invited us. I'm going back to check on Sarah, if you'll excuse me. Wait a minute. There's no need for you to do that. I mean, anyway, she won't be able to enter our hotel. Poor people are not allowed to come in. If you force to bring her here, you'll make that lady even more miserable. Well, I'm fine with that. It might be as interesting as today's entertainment show. Excuse me? I mean, wouldn't the person look so out of place in this hotel? She's wearing cheap clothes, and she looks kind of poor overall. She looks out of place among the celebrity mom's group. To be honest, she doesn't match up well with you and other celebrity moms. Don't worry about the poor lady catching a cold or not. How dare you? How dare you be so rude? Because, in fact, it's true, isn't it? 
She's just a parasite on you and the others, isn't she? You should take this opportunity to empathize with her. Celebrities should get along with other celebrities. From now on, I'll entertain you all on her behalf. Forget about the poor lady and you should enjoy your stay here. Now, our chef has prepared a delicious lunch for you. I'm sure the poor lady won't understand the taste, and you celebrities will be satisfied. I'm sorry. We're going to have to leave now. But, if Sarah is banned because she's poor, I'm not even allowed to enter the premises. Naturally, I'm not even qualified to have lunch. Huh? What? What do you mean? Did you know? Sarah is a present of the famous Greenwood's furniture. What? The furniture manufacturer? That's right. Of course you know about Greenwood furniture. I notice there's furniture from Greenwood's furniture everywhere in this hotel. The oriental, nostalgic, yet modern design. There's no mistake in that. We have custom-made pieces at home, too. Yes, of course. A few years ago, when there was a discussion about replacing the aging equipment inside the building, my father-in-law fell in love with the furniture from Greenwood's furniture and had everything made by them. But there's no way Sarah is a present of the company. If she was a present of Greenwood furniture, she would be a super celebrity. Sarah looks like a poor person in every way, both in looks and personality. Miss Nicole, are you trying to prank me with such a lie? I would never tell such a lie. Then, really... Sarah always used this hotel every year for company parties and New Year's parties. She always recommended it to people she knew, because the bath, the food, and the service were all very good. But the hotel called Sarah a poor person and banned her from the hotel. No, that's... I didn't know. Oh, you can treat your guests like this if you don't know. Especially when you've invited a valued guest to the hotel. I can't believe that the president of the hotel, the face of the hotel, would say such a thing. That shows the depth of your character. No, no, no. Seriously. I didn't mean it that way. That's enough. Whatever your intentions, I cannot be friends with someone who disrespects my friends. I'm afraid a celebrity like you have someone has different tastes than mine. I'm sorry I am so poor, but who's out of place? I will never cross the grounds of this hotel again. Have a nice day. No, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wow, that's a lot of missed calls. Sorry, I was in a place with no signal for a while. I couldn't answer your call. What do you need from a poor lady? I thought you were in the middle of the celebrity mom's gathering. I deeply apologize for what I have done. You are the president of Greenwood's furniture. I had no idea. I didn't know until Miss Nicole taught me. I'm really sorry for being so rude. No, no, no. It's my fault, too. I didn't know that a poor person like me shouldn't go to a luxury hotel. I'm sorry for the trouble I caused you. I misunderstood that you invited me. I'm sorry for my poor face. I'm sorry for being a cheap brand lover. I don't think I'm a match for Anna, a celebrity who doesn't know how hard it is to earn $3,000. I'll never talk to you again. No, um, I'm really sorry. Not at all. Sarah is not poor at all. If I look closely, you look so elegant. That's a word that comes out of knowing my title, isn't it? I know deep down you're thinking I look poor. That's not true. Well, I understand your hotel's opinion on this matter. From now on, I will never enter your hotel. I heard that it will lower the prestige of your hotel. 
Our company's gathering will be held at a different location from now on. I've already asked my secretary to cancel the reservations. But, no! Please! Please continue to use the hotel! You're all welcome! I'm really sorry about what I did! No, you don't have to apologize anymore. We will also end our furniture sales contract. We will stop investing in you too. What? Investments? The first time I visited your hotel, I loved it so much. I had invested in it personally. About $50,000 a year. Really? Is that so? I didn't know that. You're a business owner, and you didn't know that? I have been relying on this hotel for both company benefits and product purchases. I did it as a gesture of thank you. But I can't go there anymore, so I'll stop. You don't need money from a poor lady either, do you? You won't be bothered if it stops, right? Nope, it's very troubling. If I lose such a big client and invest money at all once, I don't know what would my father-in-law say. Well, you deserve it. Even if I wasn't president and didn't have any investments, no one would admire your arrogance and disrespectful attitude. A business owner who talks about celebrity and the poor, you know? Judging and abusing people based on their looks is the lowest form of thinking for someone in the hospitality industry. I hope it's nothing more than being scolded. But it's none of my business. Please don't say that. Miss Nicole and the others went home angry too. Please, from now on, only you get half off. No, I'll give you an 80% discount. So please help us. No, thank you. I refuse. Please don't talk to me again. Goodbye. After that, Anna was blocked by all of her mom's friends, including me. Even within the kindergarten, her actions spread instantly, and everybody was talking behind her back. It also damaged the hotel's reputation, and her husband and in-law were furious. I heard she was told to get a divorce and gave a parental rights. Anna got impatient and tried to get forgiveness from me and the other mothers, but as expected, everyone just ignored and she couldn't do anything about it. In the end, she was divorced, gave up her parental rights, and went back to her parents' house far away from there. I would like to have been friends with her if she weren't so strongly driven by a sense of superiority. I'm so disappointed. I received a polite apology from the hotel later. This incident was a sole decision of Anna, and the hotel was not involved in it. I accept the hotel's apology and will continue to use the hotel for my company and personal use. I heard that they also offer a discount, so I will let them reorganize my mom's group gathering next time.